Hello everyone. Today's topic is partitioning methods in clustering. Partitioning methods are a class of clustering algorithms that divide data into distinct groups or clusters, where each data point belongs to only one and only one cluster. These methods aim to optimize the internal cohesion of clusters while maximizing the separation between different clusters. In simple terms, partitioning methods organize data in such a way that similar data points are grouped together. One of the most well-known partitioning methods is k-means clustering. It works by selecting k initial cluster centroids and assigning each data point to the closest centroid. The centroids are then recalculated and the process repeats until the clusters stabilize. Imagine you are organizing a large collection of books into categories based on genre. Initially, you might choose a few genre labels. As you categorize more books, you might adjust your labels to make sure each book is in the right genre. This is similar to how k-means works in practice, refining its groups as it learns more about the data. To visualize it, k-means starts with a random selection of centroids, assigns points to the nearest centroid, recalculates centroids based on the mean of the assigned points and repeats this process. The result is k-clusters, where the points within the cluster are as similar as possible. However, k-means has its challenges. It requires you to define the number of clusters k beforehand which can be tricky. Additionally, k-means may struggle with clusters that are non-spherical or have different densities. For such cases, other partitioning methods like k-medoids or k-medoids++ can offer better solutions as they replace centroids with actual data points which makes them more robust to outliers. Partitioning methods are a powerful tool for clustering, offering flexibility and simplicity. Whether you are using k-means or its variants, they form the backbone of many data-driven applications. Understanding these methods will give you a solid foundation for deeper machine learning techniques.